Hey what's up guys, this is my review of the Hassan ROM version 7 which provides you with the complete Galaxy S5 UI and some of its features. So the installation method is pretty much the same like other ROMs. If you are still confused on how to install it, you can hit link 1 from the description. The thing is, uh, you must be rooted and should have a custom recovery installed. If you don't know how to do that, check the description again, that will be linked too. And guys, uh, you will be losing all your apps and data, so make sure you back up everything before you install this ROM. Link 3 will take you to the XDA page from where you can download this ROM. Okay, so guys, this ROM is compatible with the i9500 variant only, so without any further ado, let's begin. Basically, this ROM is like a Galaxy S5 port to the Galaxy S4. Starting from the lock screen, you get the Galaxy S5 lock screen with this bubble effect. And you also can change the unlock effect from the settings menu, which I will show you in a bit. So as you can see in the home screen, you have the icons from the Galaxy S5. You have the S5 like toggles, S Finder and recent apps integrated in the notification panel. You also can see the indicator for my magazine UI. But when I try to go to the space, it says application is not installed. So what you can do is you can choose my magazine while installing this ROM in the Roma installer. So coming to the app drawer, we get the apps from the Galaxy S5 like S Health, S Voice, S Note, etc. And all the Samsung apps are already available. This ROM is also customizable, which I'll be talking about in a bit. So first, let's quickly go on to settings. As you can see, you have the old style settings UI. This is actually, I prefer this one over the S5 style. Uh, you can choose the S5 layout in the ROM installer again while installing this ROM. So here we see this network booster, this we have seen with the Galaxy S5. Under my device you have torchlight with additional functionality like timeout. Under lock screen you can customize your lock screen like enable multiple widget, enable shortcuts and choose any kind of unlock effect from these options. Apart from that, everything remains the same. You also have the S5 weather widget, S5 keyboard, and the priority center feature from the Galaxy S5 on your messaging app, where you can add your favorite contacts so that they will appear here, and you can tap on them to quickly send a message. Pressing the menu button will let you add widgets, folders, etc. You also have theming options with this ROM. Let me just give you a demo. You also get something called ROM control which lets you customize your ROM. Say for example exposed modules and uh, from one I'm exposed you can customize your notification panel, lock screen, status bar etc. You can change your battery icon from here. You have various options, I mean various icons to choose from. You can change the color of the LED notification light for various actions, CPU control, ad block, etc. So basically, you know, at first you have a simple ROM, but you can customize your ROM in your way with all these tools. Even the multitasking UI is from the Galaxy S5. All the apps that you get with this ROM works perfect. All the motion controls, the gesture controls works perfectly fine. All the basic functionalities like Wi-Fi, NFC, 3Z, Play Store, camera, everything works smooth and perfect. You also get a lot of wallpapers with this ROM. So guys, if you want the Galaxy S5 UI and some of its feature on the Galaxy S4, this is the ROM you need to install. This ROM is very smooth, very fast, very responsive, very stable and the battery life is normal that you have with the stock ROM. And hopefully with the future updates, I would like to see uh, some of the S5 features like extreme power saving mode, private mode, etc. So that's all for this video guys, this was a quick review of the Hassan ROM and for all those who want the Galaxy S5 UI on the Galaxy S4. Thanks a lot for watching and you guys have a great time.